My only memory is the burning of flesh. I remember it so vividly. Regret and hatred are all I am made of now. Yet, I can remember... Love. Wanda. A love that haunts me. A love that no longer exists. A love that was taken from me by the Prince of Hell. Malvolta! I made a deal. I sealed my fate all for the love of my wife. Forced by all things evil to join with two miserable companions of misfortune. Wonder! What the? What the hell is that? Come on, what are you doing here? Did you see the beam that just struck Central Park? I saw it. What was it? Surely a herald of things to come. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it can't be good. A herald of things to come? What are you saying? I have a feeling that you're about to get involved in something that may overwhelm you. Whatever that beam was, I can handle it. Now, if you don't have anything helpful to say,
Hey YouTube, what's up? And uh, welcome back to another Masterpiece Retro. I am your host, Kingsmiles07, also known as the Vintage Game Finder, of course. Um, and this this time we're reviewing Spawn Armageddon. Um, this was a multi-platform uh, release in early 2003 for uh, the Sony PlayStation 2, uh, Microsoft, Xbox, the original one, and uh, the version you see now. You see now uh, the Nintendo DVD. Um, didn't have a real preference as to uh, what console uh, I was gonna play it on because I also have a copy on the PS2, but I don't on the Xbox uh, as of now, unfortunately. But um, I kind of prefer the GameCube release over the PlayStation 2 release. Uh, I don't know if uh, the issue is uh, the button layout on the PS2 controller, but I, I just find the the GameCube controller for this game in particular just an overall better experience so uh, that's that's definitely a plus um, it's obviously a, a 3d action adventure game and it's based on the uh, 1990s uh, comic book by Todd McFarlane who uh, is not only a talented artist he's, he's a really good business businessman especially with his toy lines and all that he's, he's, Doing pretty good things. I, I kind of wish he brought back the animated series or that they used to air on uh, HBO late at night. Uh, I was lucky enough to find the DVDs. If you find a way to watch that series, uh, I highly recommend that you do so. It's really good. Alright, and in the game, Spawn basically is um, trying to save Earth once again from a uh, from the demons in the underworld and and not only does he have to save the world he also has to battle himself as he has to decide whether to fight for the forces of heaven or the forces of hell because uh, in this uh the spawn universe heaven is not you know what everybody you know thinks it is uh, it's just something completely different like that. it's a little dark and i always like that uh, in my opinion, the, the game, it's, it's, it's good, it's not great, and it's not awful, it's a game that's just right in the middle, um, it, ha it definitely has good enough replay value, um, with the, with the bonuses you pick up in the game, uh, you know, the bonus content, like the, the comic book cover art, um, I think to add some other sketches uh, that, that would be incorporated in as well. Um, but then, as well as uh, the intriguing storyline, I gotta say, for, for the amount of uh, time that I played, uh, from the beginning, it, it, they get you immersed in the universe pretty quickly. And I think another big plus is that uh, this game was um, the script. You know the lines, uh, the plot, the narrative for the, for the, for the game was uh, done by uh, Todd McFarlane himself. So that's definitely another plus. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to lose uh, people if you uh, direct the poorly, you know, execute a game. You know. Another uh, pretty cool uh, little tidbit here is that the axe that you see him using in the game. Which is called Agony. That axe was in Soul Calibur 2 for the Microsoft Xbox. Um, so that's that's another added little feature there that I, I consider a plus. Cause, I mean, you can only do so much with close quarters combat and you know, the chain. Like this is this is a good thing right? to have a, a third third option as far as weaponry goes. But like I said before, I mean, you know, let's just be honest, let's be real, it's not a groundbreaking game by any means, especially with its um, lacking enemy AI and questionable camera angles, which was a common occurrence with games that, of this time period. Um, if, if you Listen, if you're a fan of the Spawn franchise in general, and, you know, you're in the mood for a simple hack and slash adventure, you know, you could do a lot worse than Spawn Armageddon. 